Set to go. And uh, when racing. Good start for them here. Approach control and Afro Star were the first two to respond from Chimes who races third early. Then came Stone Judgment and Johnny Heron in the dance is tucked in at the back end of the field is five lengths off the leader now. As they run down towards the 1,000 metre mark, it's Afro Star up in front and Chimes is promoted up into second now. Then came Approach Control in third and Stone Judgment back in fourth with Johnny Hero fifth. That's racing about five lengths off the leader in the dance as a neck behind it. Approaching the home turn in the 800, Afro Star led it a length, chimes in second, approach control is third. Then Stone Judgment in the dance is wide out on their outside, four lengths to go and Johnny Hero towards their inside. 600 metres left to go, it's Afro Star in front from Chimes, down the inside of those approach control in the dance, three to make up, then Johnny Hero and Stone Judgment. 400 to go, Afro Star, now Chimes puts on the pressure, comes into the lead, approach control is down the inside, then Johnny Hero in the dance, got two to make up on their outside, lugging in, and then Stone Judgment, 220 to go, Chimes in front from approach control, in the dance, a length to make up the outside, Chimes still led from in the dance and down the inside approach control but it's chimes in front and chimes goes on to win it chimes wins it second in the dance then approach control afro star behind that johnny hero and stone judgment so the progress plates they've run one two three four Five and seven. That's because number six was scratched. So Chimes has won it. Well done to Ronnie and Bev Napier who are here today. It's the second win on the day for trainer Gary Alexander. And apprentice Dennis Schwarz continues his good run of form. Goes on to score here on Chimes. It got tight for second. I thought it was in the dance. But than that it looks a lot closer. Down the inside was approach control. So it's going to go to the photograph between approach control and in the dance. Afro Star was fourth. Johnny Hero fifth and Stone Judgment. But Chimes came up to the lead about 450 from home. Picked up the advantage. He's a son of Atto. He's a hard-knocking individual. And it's good to see him back in the winner's enclosure. He last won just under a year ago to Chimes. And he's now a four-time winner from 14 starts. He's out of the Russian Revival Mayor Sophie's Choice. And uh, that uh, belongs uh, to the Napiers. Well done to them. And the Alcox, who reside in Mauritius. So Chimes comes through to win it. Very tight for second. I gave it in the call to end the dance with along the inside approach control. That goes to the judge, though, to decipher that one. Back in fourth was Afro Star. Let's have a listen to the judge. Three, two, four, five. Okay, so three got second. So second was number three, approach control. Third to two in the dance and fourth to four, Afro Star. So the result has gone up one, three, two and four here in race number nine. Race nine, number one, Chimes has come through to win uh, in the uh, colours of Mr. Alcock and, of course, the Napiers. Great having them on course. The Alexander's a nice double on the card. And, of course, Dennis Shaw's. Um, this horse's last two runs. I was just chatting to Dean off air here. Strong runs, and he's a good galloper. Yes, um, I believe uh, since the first time that I won on him, he was always going to be a progressive sort. And, um, but what amazed me a lot about him is uh, how strong he actually got and how progressive he actually went. He actually came really far so far. And um, it's amazing. I had him sitting in second one off the rail and he actually felt like he's in a comfortable rhythm. And then halfway up the, up the hill there, he started taking a bit of a hold. And um, yeah, it's amazing the way he quickened after that. Uh, I thought he was gonna get a little bit of a hiding up the hill there, but um, he really finished it off well. And actually he's still running around a little bit in the closing stages. I think he was waiting for company. Um, but he won a really nice race, yeah, and uh, my hats off to Mr. Alexander and the team. Um, they've really done a great job with him and kept him ticking over nicely. They, they know him inside out, and yeah, a very good team effort, yeah. Well done on your day so far. Thank you so much, and a big thanks to, to the academy as well. Um, soon I'm going to be qualifying, so, so the last few times I can say thank you to them. I appreciate it. Well done, Dennis. Uh, yep, they've uh, brought him a long way. Dean, nice little uh, win archer. You and I chatting off here that he's just uh, getting better. Yeah, look, he's always a late maturing horse and uh, 
it's taken time to come to end, but it, I think he's going to be progressive and as he gets older and stronger, he's, he's, he's a serious source. So. What did you say his best trip, 14, 16? No, I think he'll get the 1800. It just depends, you know. Um, he's versatile and uh, the way he runs, he's, he's just a natural athlete and that's what's so nice about him. And uh, he's a big horse and it's, you know, he's, he's growing into his frame and strengthening up into his, his frame now. Uh, so, yeah, I think he's going the right way. Yeah, some fun to come, and well done to the stable on today's performances. Oh, thanks very much, and thanks to Mr. and Mrs. Napier and Mr. and Mrs. Alcock. Very happy they got an nice horse show. Certainly do, thank you. Thanks a lot. Well done, Dean. Please, Mr. Napier, if you'd step in, Mr. and Mrs. Napier, best dressed couple on the course, that's for sure. <laughs> well done. This horse is actually a very nice horse to own. Thanks, Ali. As a four-year-old, I think, as Gary said, he's really strengthened up now. So he's a decent horse now. So we were having a lot of fun with him. And the way he, he goes, I was actually, when I was studying the form, I was noticing he just, he doesn't stop. So no. as uh, Dean said, maybe 18. I think, uh, exactly. We, Gary and I were just having that conversation. He thinks that 1800 is probably the best distance for him at the moment. And well done. Was that exciting? Very exciting. <laughs> I know you guys put a lot into the game, and we're always excited to be interviewing you after the race. Thanks, Lyle. Thank you. Thank you. It was a nice way to the end of the day. <laughs> Lovely way. Thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. Napier. You must see how they look. I'm sure the camera could pick it up. It is one, three, two, and four. There's still one more to come here at the big team. That is race number 10.